be the star of your Thanksgiving table, but don't tell your husband that's what you call him. <laughs> it's the side dishes that people will remember. And here to show us some delicious dishes that you can serve up this holiday, please welcome chef, restaurateur, and author of the new book, Cooking in Everyday English, Todd English. So excited to be here. This is awesome. Yeah, I'm very excited about my new book out, and I've you know, been on tour, but most importantly, the best holiday of, for a chef for all of us is Thanksgiving, oh, isn't it? Oh, really it? is. I mean, yes. what, better, what better day? It's all about food. Well, and you come from, you come from an yep. Italian tradition, I right? Do. And uh -huh. so, uh, yes. like I know at Christmas, Italians do things differently. Yes. Is it different for you at Thanksgiving as well? Well, you know, it is a hedonistic day anyway, but the Italians take it to the next level. Any Italians here? You don't understand <laughs> what I'm talking about. It's like, we start at, any, we start at antipasto about 10 in the morning, mm -hmm. and then, you know, the lasagna starts at about 1. Oh, wow. And so it's basically all day. My, and, then, and then, you know, about 4 o'clock, the turkey and all the sides come out. Oh. Your house. I yeah. know, it's right? It's crazy. And then, you know, then my uncle, who is a great baker, mm -hmm. comes with all the desserts. So, you know, by 10 o'clock at night, you're ready to burst. Yeah, you, <laughs> you never know, want you're, to you're, eat You're again. in your sweatpants. You're like, okay, I'll have dessert yeah. now. It's not a, it's not a proper Thanksgiving to eat <laughs> yeah, all no, the sweatpants. Yeah, but, so but, what are we making well, today? Um, I think, as far as Thanksgiving goes, I think the fun part, the first, you know, obviously the Italian side, but turkey is turkey, you know, and it can be great. But I love the sides. Oh, That's yeah. where I think it's really fun. Oh, so, yes. here's some things that are from my book that we're going to do. And I'm going to show you really quickly. I have... Uh, this butternut squash macaroni and cheese, mm. yeah, which is, again, sort of, you know, mac, mac and cheese is like the hottest thing in restaurants right now. Yes. And so what I'm going to do here is I have roasted butternut squash, all right? We this put it in. It's pretty easy to right, do. Right, a little well, what cream you where put, you can... What are you in. putting it in? That's, that, is, that is cream. We are indulging, but straight you can also... Cream, straight cream, heavy cream. cream. Heavy all cream. right. But you can use milk It's as Thanksgiving. Well. It is Thanksgiving. Yeah, one, you do? one day to, like, really go nuts, <laughs> right? right? Which, yeah, one day, you know, you indulge a little bit. This, to my way, is the best thing ever. Isn't this great? So what you do, puree it, puree this with your little magic wand, and that's done. It, it, we put the pasta in. Now, I like different types of, you know, macaroni. I like, you know, this is penne. But, but you, you can, can do yeah. any shape. And this is what it looks like when it's done. We add a little bit of ricotta cheese, Ooh. too. Mix that in. Salt and pepper. And voila. I like the penne because it really, it's like a right. hearty right. mac right. and Plus cheese. Just a little right. too, like, also, hold the sauce inside. I forgot inside. to mention there's also Parmesan cheese in here ah. as well. So that's the mac and cheese part of it. And okay. I also sometimes will add cheddar cheese to it as well, which is also delicious. Mm. And so, you know, so you can sort of mix some other cheeses in there. Ghost cheese also works well. So, so then you dump all the dump contents all in. yep. there into a casserole Into dish. a casserole. And then the cool thing, I learned this in Italy, which is a cool thing with squashes and pumpkins. They do this, uh, they put amaretti cookies on top. Really yeah. delicious. And Wait, so on top of the... On top of this, yeah. I'll really? Well, they, they make a, a pasta filled with pumpkin and amaretti cookies in Yum. Italy and Parma. And there's all where do you, to where do you buy these? These, so um, that's a nice flavor. you know, are pretty much available in most stores now. I mean, any grocery stores care. This is the most popular amaretti di Serrano, and mm -hmm. it's... Uh, Delicious, sweet, you know. So you just, just, yeah, try those. You just those crush them? Crush them up. Into like and, crumbs. And, them. and I'm oh, going to have you guys put that on top of there. I follow you now. I thought we put them on. <laughs> I was going to start it on. Really actually, that would actually really be cool. Cute. You could like put buttons <laughs> down I'm gonna the middle. I'm going to go for it. I'm making it my own. Okay. I think, you see, that's a great thing. I love when you, when you have, you know, make things individual. That's what this whole You're not horrified about. right now. It's right? adorable. No, no, no. No, it's adorable. And then this is panko, right? Like panko? Japanese breadcrumbs are really, really crunchy, like crunchier than regular. I also like to put a little bit of nutmeg over the top. Ooh. Right? Yeah. And then you put some Parmesan. And then cheese, too, yeah, right? And cheese Parmesan cheese, yeah. A little more Parmesan. More cheese. Never All enough Parmesan as far as All I'm concerned. Of it. All of it. <laughs> Never what, enough Todd, cheese. Todd, what are you grating over there? There's a little bit of uh, nutmeg here. Oh, you see, mine so. just comes with the top and you just <laughs> unscrew it. <laughs> right? And you go like that, so. Right. But that, that? apparently the flavor yeah. the flavor's better when you grate yeah. it yourself, Every, right? Whenever you, whenever you can, you can you know, try to. How long in the oven? It's about 25 minutes or so, 350, 20, 25 minutes. And this is nice and warm. Yeah. That's how it comes out. The magic of television. There you go, and that's when it's done. I love it. So, and there's some forks there, just in case you need to try it. those. So before yeah. we before yeah. we dive in, you have all these other right. awesome sides over here right. that you want to show people. Well, I want to so show you here. These are all from the cookbook. This is how my family makes cornbread in a big skillet, mm. and it gets so crispy, which is oh, great. So delicious. This is actually spoon bread, where it's the same idea as cornbread, where you have all the same ingredients, the corn. I put fr fresh corn in there as well. Uh, and, but we actually do egg whites. You whip the egg whites, and you to put it in To make it fluffy. The, and then on top of it, when it comes out. Butter! Butter and maple. OMG! And maple syrup mixed and together? Maple syrup mixed oh, together. yum. It is Thanksgiving after all, right? It is. Todd English, <laughs> thank you so You're much. Welcome. We want to say that everything on our kitchen counter here can be found in your new cookbook called Cooking in Everyday English. Thank you, guys. For all the recipes, also go to our website, thetalk.com. Everyone in our studio audience is going home with Todd's new.